Virgo, welcome back to your weekend reading. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this will be a general love weekend reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Always remember, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. So if you are... If you have uh, Virgo in any of your other signs, but it's not your sun sign, you can still take these messages, okay? And anything, personal readings, etc., anything you need from me is in the link in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, so we're going to take a look at the weekend and starting with Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday, and see what is coming up for you, okay? So Friday, you've got Make the Effort. Saturday of true love and Sunday of attraction. Okay. So let's see. Someone will be making an effort toward you on Friday. Okay. Great love is worth the steps being guided to take. Okay. So let's see what that will mean for you. Whoops. Okay. I just saw Virgo. Yep. Okay. I've got the hermit and Four of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Okay. I feel like you don't have to do anything. I feel like someone's going to come in and make a proposal or some kind of a love offer here. This is someone who could be at a long distance or a distance to you. Um, I feel like this person, um, they may have, oops, they may have um, avoided love in the past or, you know, whether it's a past person to you or just in general. But I feel like this person is in this very reflective mode or mood um, over this weekend where it's like um, they realize that they have missed many opportunities or they've had options and they could never commit to one. And with that hermit card, it feels like this person has pretty much been a loner, just you know, on their own, doing their own thing. So I do feel um, that the offer comes in over this weekend. A proposal could be love, marriage, um, just someone's um, offering their cup of love and hoping that you will take it and they will wait for you to reply, okay? Or to receive, I should say, not necessarily reply, but to receive it. I feel like they're hoping that you will receive what they're trying to offer here okay um i just want to get a clarifying card for the hermit so like i said for some of you it could be another virgo or you're you are just on their mind over especially on friday so asking you out to go somewhere to do something really just truly expressing um their romantic feelings towards you and it's a romantic proposal Okay, so the Queen of Swords is here. So for some of you, this could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius as well. So a lot of communication. I feel like there's going to be some communication on Friday. So expect a call or a message or uh, some conversation that happens where um, I feel like this person asks you to... Um, <laughs> if you can be lovers, seriously. I mean, this person really... Like they put in the effort. I feel like this is someone who really takes this time, um, sees your worth, recognizes, sees how valuable you are to them. And um, I, I'm picking up this person just kind of self-reflecting, going within and coming up with that. Like, wow, um, Virgo is amazing. Virgo is like totally... Um, totally worth this okay so that 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 energy comes forward on friday so saturday is true love the romance of a lifetime <laughs> okay um let's see if you have a date on friday or at least over the weekend this energy you know it can mix and match but i feel like you're gonna two people you and this person are going to be feeling um okay hot to trot for each other but definitely uh, it's going to be a, a hot weekend <laughs> I really feel like it's going to be a hot weekend. Like this person and you, there's just like a lot of romance, like a hot romantic cotton candy kind of weekend. A lot of sweetness. Okay. Stealing away, going somewhere. For some of you, it could be with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this person just looks at you. Maybe someone, maybe 
some of you Virgos in the cusp of Leo Virgo, um, this person just looks at you like you are on fire. They're very positive about you, and I feel like they um, will be trying to sweep you away or sweep. There's going to be a lot of physical passion, and will be trying to um, sweep you away on the weekend, or they're going to sneak away, take time off work, or do something along those lines um, to get into some kind of connection with you over this weekend so there might be a going away thing going on here too spending some time away with someone let me get some clarifiers let's look at the sun this is leo energy as well okay so king of cups and a queen of wands so it could also be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces but this person has very deep positive emotions for you um positive loving emotions for you um, they might be um somewhere in a sunny area they might live in a sunny climate or you do okay let's see what else i'm picking up here uh, yeah i just feel like this person comes to terms or they realize they know over this weekend that you are their own one and only true love like you are the one that they want to steal your heart. They want to take what they can from you and have that exchange. And, you know, um, it just feels like a very positive, playful energy coming from this, this person here. Okay. So let's take a look at Sunday. Sunday, you have attraction. You're, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. Wow. The magician. Wow. Six of wands. Oh, the judgment and strength. That's incredible. Wow. Um, for some of you, this is like a, a wake up call. Someone's having like an, a wake up call on Sunday about you. Um, it's more than just you being their one true love. This is more like um, awakening, like a life changing. You are their purpose. Well, not well yeah but yeah you complete me <laughs> but this is more along the lines of like this person has gotten some kind of karma um so we do have gemini and leo also scorpio showing up here so this person you know they, they the karmic cycle has ended that's what i feel like is going on here okay um sunday feels like a very magical kind of thing um somebody might be a performer up on the stage and they get a lot of applause and a lot of um um recognition as well coming out there's a coming out energy here the courage to come out so somebody gets this courage to come out based on attraction and you also have the two of cups here for the magician so yeah i feel like there's like some magic happening between you and another person over this weekend and um sunday looks like like sunday looks like kind of like waking up in the morning and feeling the magic is still there that that's the energy that i'm picking up here so if you're already involved with this person um or if you this could be somebody you knew before this could be somebody new coming in although i have to give the caveat that i don't feel any new energy here i'm not feeling new maybe with the two of cups that can sometimes represent a, a new start in a connection but for a lot of you, I feel like this might be just a recommitment and, and um, you know, having a new start in a already formed kind of a relationship. So let me take a look and see what your messages of love are here for the weekend. Because I do feel like someone is like super, super attracted to you. Like they can't, like they feel it. <sighs> They, they, I just heard some, uh, someone can feel another person on their skin, right? It's almost like a phantom feeling, but it's like it feels real, that kind of thing. Okay, messages of love for Virgo. Wow, you're kidding. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a true love connection. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. 
Um, now, you, this might be someone new in that you um, just started dating or you've already met them and you haven't started dating. Okay, we'll keep it like that. Um, put away the computer this weekend. Um, someone might be feeling like um, really concerned about their money and uh, might not want to take a weekend off because of that. But I feel like, you know what? Your, your financial problems are going to be there when you come back on Monday. So put away from the, pull away from the computer, or put it away, work less to help infuse and strengthen this relationship over this weekend. Let me see what else. And you have, okay, so there's regret. This person coming in, um, they have regret about something. Now maybe... Maybe it was that they, there wasn't a commitment or they didn't express how they truly felt about you, which I do see that they're going to do. Um, that they true, they have like a true love feeling. They truly love you. Um, so there may be a little bit an element of regret um, playing out here with kind of like why they're coming forward. You know, like not only, I mean, it's because there is an awakening that this person you know you are their one and only true love but there's also some regret and i'm hearing why didn't we do this sooner that's what i'm hearing why or why didn't i do this sooner okay let me see what else you have for virgo other message for virgo okay boundaries and patience so so I guess the person, whatever their situation was, they were putting up firm boundaries and taking their sweet time with the relationship for various reasons. Um, but it looks like you can trust this situation. You might have been praying for this or making wishes about this connection to go forward or to have, have somebody in your life. And so I feel like the weekend will be pretty profound this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson as well. Okay, so yeah, Virgo, I'm kind of feeling like, oh my God, you're kidding. There's the awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation and a new love, a new love or recommitment to love is developing here, which is pretty much what I was saying. Um, so it feels good. It feels really good. Um, and also see possible marriage here for some of you. Um, if not, just a sacred union. The relationship is moving toward a sacred union. So it's very beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's really great. It's a, it's a spicy kind of love weekend. Now let me see if I can get some other messages other than love to see what's showing up here for you. And then we're gonna, I'm going to try to do the, um, what I did yesterday. If you are, you know, Virgo dealing with which sign. Let me see. Okay. Head of household, taking charge of your divine masculine energy. You have a father figure that may be guiding you. Um, also, the message here is to strive for respect, dignity, and power, and an influential male will be supporting you over this weekend. Some of you are moving to a safer area over this weekend as well. You have a direct, honest female coming in. Um, and she is very lustful. She has a lustful, fiery spirit. So that could be the person, this Queen of Swords here, that you might be connecting with for some of you in this reading. Um, not a passion. Okay. Victory, recognition, and applause. Hmm. And looking at something differently here. Okay. So if this, for some of you, this person has um, some type of recognition or they're kind of you know, well-known or something, um, you might need to look at this situation a little different because I feel like this person's actually a loner. And um, for some of you, that might be a problem um, because you get a lot of attention. Um, but I feel like you need to let go of any insecurities in regard to this for something here to work out. Um, see it more in a positive way, okay? You also have secure home. Some of you are doing something to secure your home. Maybe you're getting some new locks or you're getting some cameras installed outside. You can trust your intuition. You also have an emotional wish being granted over this weekend. You have a new love beginning. And also, so there's a motherly figure and a father figure 
who are guiding you, whether here in the 3D or they are have passed on into another realm. Um, there, there's two people, a motherly and a fatherly figure. It doesn't have to be a mother and a father. It could just be people who represent somewhat of an angel or angels guiding you through this uh weekend for sure they're saying to open your heart to receive and also something about cherishing your children your animals and trying to be in a love minded or a, a love fused mindset over this weekend okay you also have spying and deception um some of you might be spying on someone also, who um, so maybe some family members or something to do with a wedding or an engagement party, maybe looking to see if someone is getting married. There's also a marriage that is kind of false. I'm hearing a false marriage. You might be looking to see if that is, if they're really going to do it or look, you know, this could just be something that you're seeing on, on like, how do I want to say it? Like, maybe you're watching a soap or something or some kind of show over the weekend where there's a, like a fake wedding. I don't know if it's something on TV, which of course would be a fake wedding unless it's some sort of reality show. Um, or you're looking at someone's wedding or um, family party or an engagement or some type of celebration where I feel like, I don't know, you just kind of get this just like this whole thing is for show. Like somebody is just doing something for show. Oh, wow. And you also be getting some sweet a sweet text message from someone with Cupid's arrows, love messages, travel, definitely um, a, a trip, and a message from an admirer. I don't feel like this is a secret admirer. I feel like that's the person that's showing up here in this relationship. And um, you do have someone who is spying online, and I feel like this person is showing up either in your dms or online somewhere if you're on social media and they're using like a fake account um committed love relationship so this might be somebody for some of you that you're already talking to look they're looking to see if you're committed to somebody else as well so some kind of freaky deaky energy right there um okay and more messages to see who else we can pick up this energy sorry for the pause okay let's see what else is showing up here for virgo okay got a brunette male or female that could be you or another person some of you might be thinking of going back to brunette or making your hair darker so it could be doing something with your hair as well. Some of you are focused really intensely on a project that you're doing this weekend. Um, and your advice here is if there's a love offer, just put it aside and uh, go have some fun over this weekend. Okay. Control. So interesting, like, um, oh, there's a kinky in the bedroom kind of energy happening here over the weekend too. And I also feel like some of you might be attending... Um, I just heard the name Marion. Marion. Somebody might be attending like a show. I know like kind of a theatrical production over this weekend. Whether that's in a movie theater or actually a play of some sort. You also have mature men. So that could be you who is a mature like older male or just mature in age. Maybe a little bit of gray here. Um, that could also be somebody that you're connecting with over this weekend. A mature older male okay and you have the ice king so something to do with a boss also over the weekend let me see huh. for some of you your true love is someone that you work for is your boss or you just call them mommy or daddy <laughs> you no know. An entrepreneur, um, this person's a bit detached. And for others, this person, like, you have a really good connection with um, a boss or someone who's like, um, you know, does their own kind of thing. Um, for some of you, this is a boss or someone who's, well, you know, up there, owns their own company, is going to be 
asking you out over this weekend or expressing their true love for some of you, which might be a little bit of like, what? Because they're very detached. It's unexpected. Whether it's a boss or whomever it is, it's kind of like comes out of left field a little bit there. <laughs> okay, some of you are, <coughs> excuse me, looking at houses to purchase over this weekend or property. Um, or some type of real estate you might be putting a house or putting some real estate on the market to sell or looking to buy or working in real estate over this weekend okay oh you've got union that's that secret union there's a serious relationship marriage or partnership coming in this weekend okay we've got a young female a blonde female this is two girls somebody has two daughters um, their significant why <coughs> some of you are going to meet your daughters for the first time sorry I've been like a little congested lately some of you are going to meet your daughters for the first time um, maybe you haven't seen them or uh, you haven't seen them in a while you're going to see them again or um, your granddaughters, um, or you're going to find out over the weekend that you have two daughters. Hey, okay. You also have freedom, being single, and a long distance relationship. A long distance. For some of you, not a relationship. For some of you, this is just deciding not to date over this weekend as well and taking some kind of trip or something to do with a boat over this weekend. Okay, a couple more messages here. You have true gem, valuable quality jewelry. That's kind of what I felt like this person in this reading um, was seeing the value in you. Wow, new love, absolutely. New person or an unknown person. Um, for some of you, now they're confirming this could be somebody brand new who's popping in over this weekend and kind of just has this regret that they never settled down or that they spent their whole life just being single and casual and free and maybe uh, meeting people long distance and just never really, stay, you know, kind of like a nomad. Someone's got like um, a ship in every port um, and they meet you and it's that changes everything. Yeah, this person was doing a lot of short-term relationships, quick flings, wasting time. Um, and, you know, maybe they had their reasons, but looks like something here is definitely going to be changing okay let's see if we can get some chinese signs of the person coming in um and of course if you don't know them you won't know unless you ask them okay let me see chinese signs for the person coming in and or virgo's chinese sign okay year of the pig year of the tiger Year of the ox, year of the goat, year of the rooster, the rat is here, and the pig is here again, the rabbit, and I don't think I said rabbit, no, and the snake, the snaky snake. Okay, let me just get a couple charms. I have a screamer. And then we'll be done with your weekend reading. Okay, so wow. Okay, you have a Hamsa. Definitely protected. Oh, geez, the twin flame card just flew out. <coughs> Divine counterpart connection happening here. Okay, hold on, you guys. So, like I was saying, you have the Hamsa here. So, this is definitely being protected. Okay, um, some of you might be purchasing this over the weekend or seeing this somewhere. Someone might be hanging it like from their, their car rear view visor or mirror as well. Or you have that there. Okay. So, and you also, <laughs> you also have a crown princess. Okay. That might be like a, an animal's bowl or dish it says princess or prince on it, something close. Or uh, some of you are connecting with someone who's a princess or you're, it's the two daughters that you're connecting with your princesses so to speak or granddaughters as well grandkids prince and a princess um someone will feel like a princess over the weekend with this prince 
Charming or Prince Princess Charming coming in. Um, definitely a crown on your head this weekend, Virgo. You're going to feel like amazing with all this. I don't know. The dopamine is going to be through the roof. <laughs> all right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. And uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, the link is in the description box below. And also, um, somebody anonymously donated almost 500, a little uh, over $500 to the National Center for Exploited and Missing Children fundraiser that I am running here. And whoever you are, I don't know who you are, but I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for such a generous, generous donation that's like insane so you know that really pushes it over the threshold there to get closer to the 5,000 so um yeah thank you for that the link is below if you guys want to donate there I don't care like whatever amount you want to give is great or you can donate to the ourrescue.org here on um my channel as well they're both on my channel right so you can choose either campaign and uh yeah I just want to say swells my heart when you guys give i love it especially more so to the children i feel like i always feel like that's such a worthy cause they're so precious and so beautiful and so innocent and you know we have to protect them that's how i feel so thank you again and i will see you guys all back here uh, on sunday all right take care